a healthy and well-balanced diet is a crucial part of a gerbil's life. As such, a good food mix as the staple is important to have for their nutrition requirements. But what about making your own, and why would you want to? Well, to begin with, some countries don't have the necessary requirements for gerbils and instead are marked towards hamsters overall. Then there's problems with trusted brands not being available in those countries either. It can be very tricky and there isn't enough information online. So for this very reason, I wanted to spread as much as I've gathered in one video. So a lot of gerbil owners have taken it to their own hands to make homemade gerbil mixes, but a lot of the time people have one question in mind. Well, how do you guys work out the protein and fat ratio after you've added your various ingredients? And the main answer is mostly, well, I don't. And that isn't going to work for any pets' diets. It's not a healthy guessing game to do. So we're going to begin with the minimum protein and fat levels required for gerbils. Now for adult gerbils, so we know they should have 10 to 13% protein and 6 to 9% fat. And for growing gerbils or baby gerbils, they should have at least 16% protein and 5% fat. But where do these numbers come from? Remember, these are approximate numbers. The link to this book will be in the description, but the National Academies does mention that adult gerbils weigh about 70 to 135 grams, and the pups are normally weaned at 14 to 18 grams. With that being said, a diet consisting of 13% protein gained only 0.69 grams a day of weight. For growing gerbils, the minimum should be at least 16% protein and 2-5% to fat. A set number for the required fat has not been determined, but we can go off of rats for the vitamins and minerals. Now before you get intimidated, you can pause this video and read this all, and also remember that it might seem difficult to reach these numbers every day, but just remember that the seeds and grains all have nutrients, as well as the main and best sources include feeding daily vegetables and flowers, and you might even add herbs as well, and nutritional yeast. Now with all the facts aside, we can finally put together an adult gerbil diet. Now what I have compiled together for the variety and all has a total protein of 12%, 7% fat, and 14% fiber. Of course, to get these percentages, I had to measure each ingredient as well as their nutritional values. So I already did the hard part of calculating all the values for each ingredient. So in this part of the video, you will see the final calculated result. Now, it's very important to know that you should always have more flour seeds than fat seeds. Now, the difference between flour seeds is that they consist of grains such as wheat, barley, amaranth, and rolled oats, and fat seeds genuinely consist of seeds such as sesame, flax, quinoa, and more. So, so far we've added 100 grams of amaranth, 30 grams of wheat seeds, 260 grams of rolled oats, 120 grams of barley, and now we're moving on to the ryegrass seeds, and this will be 260 grams.
After adding all of the ingredients together that have been measured, you're just going to mix it very thoroughly. You want everything to spread evenly. In the end, you will have your recipe. Now, just remember that this recipe is just a staple of their main diet and they should still be fed veggies, flowers, herbs, and insects to keep their diet natural and healthy. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope the video was helpful and informative and I hope you guys maybe even try it as well. Subscribe to our channel for more gerbil content and like the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!